Hi guys, Olive here. Very quick and exciting announcement video for you today. I am very pleased to announce that once again this year, Gemma and I will be co-hosting Nonfiction November. I am once again co-hosting this challenge with the lovely Gemma of Nonfic Books. Both Gemma and I are lovers and appreciators of nonfiction and really want there to be more of a presence of nonfiction on booktube. I feel like a lot of people have the idea that nonfiction is dry and boring and Nonfiction November was created in part as a response to that notion. Nonfiction can be just as fun and engaging as fiction and we really hope to bring more nonfiction reading to booktube. This will be the third year that we have hosted this challenge. We've both been extremely excited to bring it back. If you've never heard of Nonfiction November or if you need a brief refresher, Nonfiction November is a month long reading challenge during the month of November, where Gemma and I challenge you to read more nonfiction than you ordinarily would. So if you never read any nonfiction, try to pick up one book during November. If you typically read quite a few, try to read even more than you normally would. But every year Gemma and I do wanna make it a little bit more interesting and add some challenges into the mix. Our challenges this year are somewhat similar to what they were last year and that each of them is just one single word that can be interpreted in a myriad of ways. The challenges for Nonfiction November 2017 are number one, home, number two, substance, number three, love, and number four, scholarship. As I said before, these are only one word challenges, allowing you to interpret it however you want to. For example, to meet the challenge of home, you could read a nonfiction book with the word home in the title. It could be a memoir about someone who's going home. It could be a nonfiction book that is all about your hometown. You can complete the challenge for substance by reading a nonfiction book all about a particular substance. It could be a memoir about someone who you think is a person of substance. The challenge love could be met by reading about a topic that you love. It could be a nonfiction book about the concept of love. You could complete the scholarship challenge by reading a nonfiction book about a subject that you wish you had a deeper knowledge of. You could meet that challenge by reading a nonfiction book that tells the tale of a pursuit of scholarship. Or to complete that challenge, you could just read a nonfiction book that you need to read for school if you're in school at the moment. The interpretations of these challenges are certainly not limited to the examples I just gave. We really encourage you to interpret these however you want and to mold a nonfiction reading month for yourself that is going to be challenging but super exciting. To take part in Nonfiction November, all you have to do is read at least one nonfiction book. You can completely ignore our challenges if you want to. We just want you to read some nonfiction. There is a Goodreads group for the Nonfiction November Reading Challenge. I will link that for you in the description box below. If you have joined in prior years and stayed a member, then congratulations, you're already a member. But if you've never taken part before, I encourage you to click the link and join us. I'm hoping to have some good discussions with people on all the nonfiction books that they are reading. We also highly encourage you to update both us and everybody else on your progress for this reading challenge using the hashtag Nonfiction November 2017 on all different social media platforms. In just a couple of weeks, Gemma and I will be posting our TBRs for Nonfiction November, as well as giving you some recommendations if you're choosing to take part in our challenges. So please keep an eye on both Gemma's channel and mine for those videos. I would love to hear from you in the comment section below if you will be participating in Nonfiction November. I certainly hope you'll join us. Or if you have anything else you would like to chat with me about, you can also put that in the comment section or you can find me on a variety of different places on social media and all of my profiles are linked in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're as excited for Nonfiction November as I am and I will see you in the next video. Bye!